Welcome back viewers. Uh, we were talking about the um, inflation of JM. Um, Chandramani Mahama is term of office and then um, we've noticed that during the period from 2004 to 2012 I'm talking about the last oh, one yeah okay. I'm, I'm talking about the span the range, of the time, the range yeah, yeah, 2004 yeah. to 2020 yes. all the presidents that came JM had the highest inflation and that is per the chart that we are using here it's not about partisan politics no. these are facts and figures right. that was um, put it's together just, it's just the chart. yes yeah, so um IMF, was put together by statistica by mr fletcher so these are evidence facts so mr charles can you carry on with where um you left uh -huh. Great. So, as uh, Mr. Eric Kudonko did mention, that he had the highest inflation, uh, 17, at the heights of it was about 2016 at 17.35%. Oh, wow. Uh, is the highest. That's and the highest, 17.35%. Yeah. Yes. At the same time, as Mr. Eric Kudonko said, that he had a lot of projects, mm -hmm. he done a lot of work. But so I wanted to ask, mm -hmm. why is it that he had a lot of projects and the ordinary person think that, you know, before anything else can be put into perspective, he did all these projects, but his term of office inflation was the highest. Why is it that? Uh, what actually happens is that the whole um, idea is not just about having so many projects mm -hmm. just to prove that you are doing some good works mm -hmm. it is the value of the projects mm -hmm. that you do okay. for ghana that is what is important it's not the, the, the as in Kwame and Kroma, uh, building the tema industrial area building the akosumbo dam building the tema motorway and the communities and you know the hospitals the universities these were uh, projects that were done with very very good value quality material. quality mm -hmm. projects with mm -hmm. good value for Ghana the what we are seeing with the, the reason why John Dramani Mahama has done the, you know lots of work mm -hmm. but then it's created it has become inflationary mm -hmm. is that number one the work the value of those works yes so whereby when you are borrowing uh, money or printing money or whatever source you want to get your money from to invest in the economy if you're putting in that investment and let's say the real value of that investment is 100 cities okay. and you add another zero mm -hmm. and then you make the value thousand mm -hmm. so you, you you're borrowing a thousand and actually your productivity is a hundred mm -hmm. and so you've created an inflationary of nine uh, an inflationary situation a black hole uh, mm -hmm. uh, of 900 yeah. so you've got mm -hmm. 900 of more cities mm -hmm. not really much margin margin yeah. productivity so and so therefore these that... monies will come into the hands of friends of and family who have not really worked for that money so if i can understand your explanation it means that when you go and borrow 50 million you have to come in and do 50 invest million. that 50 million, million worth of investment that is worth you know Correct. um that is a project that is competitively that's competitive yes and costed. then it's going to help the community yes. but if you come in use the 50 that you borrowed, you use just 20 and the 30 is just you for share other... You your friends. And, yeah. And other, or, other... Or keep it yes, for yourself. You keep or it for yourself. For and it means that mm -hmm. obviously you are heading towards a very high inflation period. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes. Uh, sometimes even, sometimes to another way that sometimes, and, and uh, because now we are really analyzing this term, uh, another way is that sometimes a uh, you know a government can borrow money mm -hmm. right and they're not going to bring the money into the economy 
they will borrow the money. Mm -hmm. Say they, let's say they borrow, uh, say five minutes, hundred million. And then they will do a, do they about create a ghost project. Do about and then they would you can do a, you can do, you can do about twenty twenty million. You borrow hundred million, do twenty million worth of projects mm -hmm. within the economy, and then you put the eighty million in a foreign a Swiss account. Mm -hmm. an offshore account in Jersey or Guernsey, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. then what you're going to also do is that mm -hmm. you don't necessarily create an inflationary situation mm -hmm. because that money is not coming in. Mm -hmm. That money was borrowed and then shipped somewhere. Mm -hmm. Correct. And so sometimes um, we can have a situation where a government may also be cr trying to create a situation where it's like a low inflation mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. But then sometimes what will give them away is that when you go and look at the national debt, you can. This is why the, the obviously the inflation thing is a very good way to assess. Mm -hmm. But there are other indicators, indicators that you can use to track. You see, you can track. You know what what a government is doing because when they borrow that money, it may not necessarily come in. Mm. So so that the the debt is going to go up, but the inflationary will be the inflation will be low. Will be low. You see. Mm -hmm. Ah. So which means if you are not in there, if if, share, if you're not bringing in that money, it means that because and the money goes and away. why don't they can, why don't they um bring periodic. Um, budgets and borrowing statements for the, the, the consumption of the public because I think here they publish it every now and again you know um, as to their borrowing as to their national debt you know the level or the the, the, the amount the total amount that they borrowed so far for the year I, I know yeah. that they've got they've got I believe that uh, uh, the, the ministry, ministry of finance that, and, uh, that that publishes the ministry of finance. But do yes. they come out with the real figures? These figures, um, as I say, normally when you because are, as you saying, if they are going to borrow hundred million and they're going to bring twenty for mm -hmm. internal projects and ship the rest to Gen Z for maybe mm -hmm. um, a Japan top up all kinds of you know it could go to in, in, um, in, so, how would so, you know? Uh -huh, so that that you will know from the national debt yes that's a total we, debt. we have figures here mm -hmm. once again that we're going to show these are figures from an imf source so these are very uh, reputable these are factual imf figures uh, these are very reputable sources that highlights the, uh -huh. debt, so, the national so debt it will expose country. that will expose so you can't hide it Yes, you, when, when you look mm -hmm. at when you analyze all these figures, it can really expose what a and are there, is you doing. know, um, independent bodies that, you know, check, regulate these laws that, okay, they've actually used these um, borrowings to do the specific projects that they were meant to be. This is so, some, it's like, uh, uh, this, I, I this is something that obviously when you have. Um, a body like the special prosecutor's office mm -hmm. which obviously we know that because we don't have constitutionalism mm -hmm. and uh, checks proper, and proper balances. checks and balances mm -hmm. and we don't have that uh, uh, separation of powers and, mm -hmm. and neutrality mm -hmm. within the system mm -hmm. we don't have any kind of body that will go and over oh, wow. see to these type of things yeah because in a way, mm -hmm. if um, the special prosecutor's office was mm -hmm. doing uh, doing their work and doing it well, yeah, mm -hmm. then this could and the, and that office is very neutral. Mm -hmm. Then this is the kind of office that could go in and investigate. to investigate. Mm -hmm. You know, how much did you get coming in? What was it used for? Mm -hmm. Was it costed properly? Appropriation of funds. Yeah. Was it is it value for money, money. for the nation? Mm -hmm. Are you using the vetting process? Uh, are you are using the, quality materials? The tendering process. Are you, um, you know, with, with a projection of what you're doing, you know, how many years of guarantee have you got mm -hmm. for this project? Let's say you're building a road. You can build a road and the road will be destroyed in a matter of two, yes, two years. Yes, that's, that's what happens. But have you got like a 30 year guarantee mm -hmm. on this road? Is it going to last like the motorway uh, mm -hmm. has lasted? 
And so we have to do this thing for Ghana. We have to do it for Ghana. So when you come once again, yeah. you will see that um, uh, by the NDC under John Dramani Mahama, inflation was at you're getting its the highest. Uh, exactly, because uh, mm. projects are well overvalued. You know, they're not really. Don't forget that um, in his time of office, that's when we experienced doom. So, so many um, companies, so many yeah, businesses yeah. collapsed Collapse. because. We use electricity if for you most have of our power. activities, if our you business have activities power. and production. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have power, how can you produce? How can you yes. even employ people to sort of minimize the, the high uh, unemployment rate? Yes. So it yeah. means that the inflation at his time was high mm -hmm. and the doomsday also messed up the whole economy. People mm -hmm. were just feeling the pain. I think that's why they opted for um, MPP. To it, is, it is very, very clear. Yeah that uh, come to the end of uh, John Dramani Mahama's time in mm -hmm. 2016, the economy had practically collapsed. In shambles. Um, in, in, all fairness, shambles. in all fairness, yeah. we will come into borrowing, mm -hmm. but even I think uh, as far back as 2015, uh, John Dramani Mahama had borrowed 918 million mm -hmm. Uh, from the IMF World Bank, claiming that he was going to use it to stabilize the economy of Ghana. That is a very long shot. You know, this, you see, when we, when we borrow monies and we use these type of words, right, or, or I don't know, statements or phrases mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. to say, I'm using it to stabilize the economy of Ghana. That is not specific. Mm -hmm. So when you borrow money, you should be able to say, I borrow 900 and 18 million dollars mm -hmm. to resolve the electricity Issue. problems in Ghana forever mm -hmm. or to ensure say I give 24 7 electricity and water because this is what the people this is a bedrock mm -hmm. when you put these facilities in there the rest the economy uh, uh, private enterprise can carry on with, with the rest mm -hmm. so obviously you can see that at the end of his term some of the projects that he did, for example, the airport, if you had done proper feasibility study, you wouldn't build an airport and the airport will flood probably the next year. And then all the, 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 the walls are coming off. We're peeling off. That, yeah. Uh -huh. the internal walls are coming off. Correct. So it means that the quality of material they use wasn't even up to standard. I don't get it. So It's not even up to standard. Uh -huh. So it means that it was overestimated. So, uh -huh. so like doing many things to prove that you are doing well is And not that's why the special prosecution or the special prosecutor couldn't work because at the end of the day, what they did, what I noticed um, is, is not evidence, but if a special prosecutor is working to arrest or to investigate people and he can't get any evidence to arrest them, then it means there was something they did that was very clever. Mm -hmm. What they did was that if they give you that contract, That's right? It. You, you inflate the Sub contract. Supply chain. Yes, the subcontractor, they will, you know, inflate it. Let's say it's 300 million. Come in and say 500 million. The 200 million on top of it, I know you're going to use the 300 to execute the job mm. or the project. But the 200 on top of it, we will come behind closed doors and share it, Yes. you know, in between us. Yes. So it means that all the paperwork is up to scratch, it's clean. clean. So when you go, it's, it's commensurate, it's, 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 it's clean, clean. It's clean. to but the that, money that, that extra was money. on the contract. Mm -hmm. But the extra on the, the excess, the excess, excess money is popping yeah. in here. Yeah. You can They've see gone here. behind it and taking it. You can see here it becomes inflationary. So who is um, Amidu going to catch? <laughs> then also the I other is not going to catch uh -huh. anyone. The other it's got no evidence. The other problem where you see that uh, you borrow to do a project and yet the project is of such inferior quality mm -hmm. is that is the supply chain. Mm -hmm. So when you take the contract, just as you said, three hundred million, you say five hundred million. Guy takes that two hundred million. You you don't even do that project. You give the project to me one fifty million. Mm -hmm. I also take it. Like I'm going to do it contract contract. Then I go and get somebody do it for hundred. So when the time gets to the guy at hundred, now the whole thing is fully exhausted. Mm -hmm. The hundred guy is now coming to do. They have to come and do this project, but 
they don't have the money to so buy the right the right quality type of materials. products yeah they don't have that money to employ somebody to carry out a diesel feasibility study mm -hmm. to ensure that if you build the airport it's not going to flood the next day mm -hmm. or is it like the right place should we heap it up should we build it up a little bit if we know the ground level is too low you know these are the sort of things that you know as a government you need to ensure mm -hmm. that procurement everything is like properly yeah investigated especially and, even uh, when it comes to procurement when they give a contract to a contractor that he is going to execute the project he has done all his estimates and has brought it to the tendering department they've given they've uh, you know accepted it they've they've processed it they've given him maybe 30 percent or 50 percent or whatever he started the job so what it means is that he is going to use that money to complete and then get the rest after completion so what they do is to overestimate it go behind closed doors and get the top up and then the work becomes shoddy because they can't get that as you're saying they can't buy the right materials to complete the, the job. Right job that's right and it all pops up in the inflation so because it becomes very it's, clear it's, it's now the next obviously the last um uh, from 2016 mm -hmm. so this will probably uh, i think many people remember that uh, john ramani mahama said that Ghanaians have short memory so they may have probably forgotten about the doom so issue the fact that he turned ghana into the imf mm -hmm. it's okay uh, turn Ghana into the IMF to say that he is not able to mm -hmm. uh, uh, carry on anymore. I think at that point, it has situation has become very grave, and that is when Ghanaians felt that it was probably necessary to change government. And I think a lot of people had confidence in Anado Dangwa mm -hmm. in his ability to do a better job than John Ramani Mahama. So Nana picks it off uh, at that point at. Um, 2017, we come down to 12.35%. Mm -hmm. Then it came down even further in 2019 to 7.21%. Uh, so the lowest is 7.21%. But, but Atamels was Atamel, no, no, Atamels had 6.7%. Atamels' lowest was 6.7% in 2010. And Nana what about the 47 that was the lowest. There, there isn't a 4.7. What's, what's here? That is 6.7. 6. 6. 6. Ah, okay, 6.7. That's 6. what I'm saying, yeah. And then the 7.21. 7.21 okay. is also the lowest mm -hmm. under the new MPP, but then it starts to go up in 2020. Mm -hmm. That could once again be a reflection mm -hmm. of the um, of the election, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a reflection of the election expenditure mm -hmm. when you are, you know, dishing out money, mm -hmm. not for productive for, purposes. Yeah but mainly for maybe to conduct an election and, and all that. And so then there is the projected 2021 mm -hmm. is sort of coming down. It is a projection. Okay. It, it is not an actual figure, but it's a projection. So which means that uh, among the four, uh, Tamils did good, and then Nana is also performing well. Good. This, is, this is by IMF standards. Mm -hmm. We are not being partisan here yes. we are not yes. talking about yes. mpp NDC, and all that yes. independent parties we are talking about facts yes imf facts because that's where we go and borrow yes. we go to the chinese people we borrow we go to the imf we borrow but when the money comes in do we input that money into projects that will help the citizens of ghana that's what we are saying talking yes. about right now and yes. the inflation you know shows it yes. exactly what it, is it happening does, it does. it's an a pure critical indicator of performance Good. that's what we are, yes. we are we are talking about yes. here yes the, so, the the other thing that sometimes once again so um we can look at on the inflation side just one last thing to touch on mm -hmm. is that you can have a situation as i was saying where you may borrow money from an external source but the money doesn't come in the money goes elsewhere that's what you were saying and so yeah. that money um whatever money then comes in say, say just as an analogy so i borrow 10. Mm -hmm. i put five away in mm -hmm. some offshore account or a swiss bank account mm -hmm. and i bring five into ghana mm -hmm. and then i use that five but i use it productively mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so domestically it is not going to be inflationary mm -hmm. 
So this is what this is what we want to expose mm -hmm. for the ordinary or people that are they may not be necessarily be ordinary, but for them to be made aware yeah. how you can mark about with the system. Mm -hmm. So you borrow ten, right? So your 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 national debt will go up. Mm -hmm. But out of that ten that you borrowed, you take five away. We you and your cronies. You put the five in some Swiss or offshore account. So that five doesn't come in at all. Mm -hmm. It doesn't come inside. Is the government is <laughs> borrowed that money, but the five uh -huh. doesn't come in. Five goes away. Uh -huh. But then the five that comes in, idiot, mm -hmm. we use that five mm -hmm. wisely to do the work. Everybody to know, oh, we are working. So are you can look good. good. So here, mm -hmm. Nana can look good. On paper. He can look good on paper mm -hmm. because the five that he brought in is actually really used it. Mm -hmm. But what about the five mm -hmm. that is gone away elsewhere? Mm -hmm. That that one is only going to account for that. That when five is only when we finish, then we go share. Mm -hmm. And this is what we want to make people aware that these things can also happen. So you may look good that you're doing a good job. So it means that the white people in terms of um, the IMF, they, they've given us the sovereignty to run our country. So when they give you the loan, they don't give a, they don't care. They don't give a damn about what you do with that money because other, otherwise they will be chasing up and to, 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 to ensure, ensure that that, the that project is that, that you came, the proposals that you brought, that they accepted your proposal Correct. and gave you the loan, are uh, there to, you know, Correct. you know, are. Uh, Compliant to mm -hmm. in terms of your 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 proposals. Uh -huh. So we go, we go, but they don't care. They don't care because so very remind that us is the saying. loophole that these leaders and their cronies have come to establish. That okay, if we go in and they don't follow up, it means that we can do anything and then go back and and, and tell them what they they want to hear. Correct. And that's exactly why in Africa most of the countries are struggling mm. because you know these guys go in for the loan and then they misuse it as yeah. you're saying they, they they divert it to you know uh, these Somewhere. safe havens with, but, with but, no tax uh -huh. but, then so what you, bank accounts but then what you bring in you, know, you use it wisely so then it doesn't shame. it doesn't become inflationary mm -hmm. so let's not always think that when the inflationary figures are very low it is a total mandate that, that the person, the person is, is necessarily is doing a very good, good job. job. We've yeah. got to be honest mm -hmm. and we've got to be looking, we're going to be looking at the national debt. Yeah. And that is also going to expose, you know, where your borrowing is going. Is now. Are you really? Because when I check the map, when I check the graph, it's just like it's, it, it goes up and it's not coming down. It's like up, up, The national up, up, debt up, is up, going up, up. yes. It's, ah. it's just, you know, cheap like that it's, it's a slow steep mm. sort of um, so let's not fool ourselves you know in as much as it does the inflation figures does give a, a, a fairly fairly mm. clearer uh, Picture. vision yeah. of where it's going at the same time there are there ways are to checks and balance manipulate and, and this yeah. is where maybe a special prosecutor very independent mm -hmm. neutral could then look into it to say okay you got this money from uh, uh, to do X, Y, Z. And whenever you are borrowing, you've got to be very specific what you're using the product project for, uh, the money for. So you can't say, uh, give me 918 million, as in the case of John Brahman in 2015 from the IMF and say, I want to use it to stabilize the Ghanaian economy. What does that mean when you say stabilize it? What exactly? Does that mean? Mm -hmm. So it's not specific. It's not specific. So, so it, it means it, that it, the ordinary, it, 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 the lame man wouldn't understand. Exactly. So it opens up. As you were talking about the treasury bills, you 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 use some terminology, some economic jargons, and you said nominal interest and real interest and all that. So you have to know the real interest. Otherwise, you think you you are investing into a treasury bill, but actually you are getting just two percent out of it because of inflation the inflation rate and the nominal rate and then the difference is going to give you the real interest isn't it the the, the interest the inflation rate mm -hmm. and then the nominal rate 
the nominal interest and the inflation interest, isn't it? Yeah, basically, the nominal interest, interest less, the, less in, the inflation, inflation rate gives you the, the, real, you the real interest uh -huh. rate. So it means in every case, there are exceptions. You have to know. You, you've got the, to know the details. The details. The details. Otherwise, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be the, the, misled. The, the, yes, yes. You can be conned um, out of this. So mm -hmm. we want to bring this and, and we want to hope that uh, in future that we can have a body that is neutral that can look into say looking into our national debts mm -hmm. looking at how it's going up what is is it being used for are we making the government accountable mm -hmm. for the using of this money okay. and that will help us to uh, all right uh, so um, to some so far on face value as we can see here if i i wouldn't necessarily um, even though Atam I'll bring Atamel's back. So face value. So on, on, bad. on face value, mm -hmm. I will bring Atamel's back mm -hmm. if I could. Mm -hmm. Probably to be the next, uh, the next. Uh, 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 according to according to the statistics, I'll yeah, bring Atamel's yeah. back to run the country because it appears that he's probably the most honest mm -hmm. and more probably the, the person that cared for Ghana the most. Okay. Right. So if Atamel, so honesty is. If, um, if it wasn't, Atamel's if it wasn't uh, John Dramani Mahama, and if it was Atamel's uh, administration carrying on till now, mm -hmm. then I will bring Atamel's back mm -hmm. as the person that I would like to run Ghana. Okay. Uh, but now Atamel's is not there. So when I look at John Dramani Mahama and Nana Akufuado, Nana Dodango Akufuado, mm -hmm. obviously that free SHS project. It's a very big project. Yeah, it's an investment in the education of all very, Ghanaians. Very big project. Uh, so, so that can also be an expensive project. So that we can really commend Nana for that. Yeah, and so we. Uh, it's obviously, monumental, isn't it? It's huge. So it's huge. without uh, this uh, Atamels around, I will probably let Nana carry on with his work. Okay, that's how I will do it. Right. So it's like you're doing a very fair analysis. Yes. According to according the to the data. the data, according to the data, okay. I will choose Nana that to carry on right. because obviously you can see it here. But at the same time, the free SGSH product is a really big project, mm -hmm. you know. So viewers, uh, we've given you the information. So you kind of assess it yourself because you've got you've got all the information. And go to the ballot box. This is an informed choice and decision that you have to make. Go to the ballot box and make your decision. check all this. I'm going to put. The, um, the data PDF mm -hmm. on the um, on the page, so you go and have a look, print it out, have a look, mm -hmm. and then you can assess it yourself and know who you want to vote for, right? Because if you don't have all this information and you just carry on and following, and jumping down. around here and there, it's not fighting, it's not fighting, you need, fighting your brother. Yeah, you need fight. You go and fight your brother. Yeah, you go and oh, fight. NDC, you and are you are killing each we other. We start fighting. We shoot each other. Shooting each other for it doesn't what? Doesn't make any sense. You know those guys in the uh, ministry, those guys that have got the higher positions. You know they, they have the money, no. and if they give you a little bit of something and for you, you to get this behave, it's not worth it. it. Don't do sense. it. Right? Don't do it. Don't do it. You can take the money, but you can just carry on with your life. Yes. There is that like, nobody can force you to go and kill anybody or to go yes. and misbehave or, or, hit, or hit somebody, yeah. try to cause commotion, fire, burning, arson and all that. It's not it's not right. Did I see so let's have a peaceful election and uh -huh. then we see how it goes. Did I see GCB or something? Liberty House burning? Yeah, they are burning so many things. I don't know oh, what's no. happening. There are so no. many information coming in that there's going to be chaos and all that. Yeah. If you want to come into power, it's not about when violence. You burn, when you burn that country down. It's not down. about violence. When you burn the country down. Last yeah. time there was a market burning. Yeah. The next thing there's Liberty House. When you mm -hmm. burn Liberty House, mm -hmm. how do you help Ghana by doing that? How do you help Ghana do by you doing help that? your nation? So by who are burning. those perpetrators that burning. wants to bring that confusion? Are, are there any external sort of influence or what? Because in Puma time we had the same problem. We had that ex external sort of um, mm. influence and everything went perishing. Yes. Please, we are Ghanaians. Let's behave. Let's let's understand the, the meaning of politics. And let's and have a and peaceful and let election. Let the economics direct you. Yeah, let's have a peaceful election. Mm -hmm. So um, we will come back 
and we all carry on with, fair, carry on with the national debt. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and share.